today we're going to install this cursed 45 caliber gated conversion cylinder in the Pieta 8 inch new model Remington replica. I've had this cylinder for years in my 5.5 inch model and it has worked perfectly. You have to modify the gun slightly by cutting a loading port in the recoil shield. We're going to use a Dremel and a paper template to accomplish this work. Take your time, check your progress regularly, polish up your cut, and then cold blue. And that's all there is to it. I daubed on two cold bluing solutions, Birchwood KC Super Blue and Perma Blue Paste to match the existing color case hardened finish. Okay, so I previously made the cut in my five and a half inch new model to fit the curse cylinder. And actually it makes loading the percussion caps on there a little bit easier, it gives you a little bit more room. So we're going to put the cursed cylinder over into our 8 inch model that we've just been working on. So if you'll notice, there's a safety notch here on the cursed cylinder, so you always want to drop your hammer down on that safety notch, and that way you can carry all five chambers loaded. So, we're going to roll this thing into the gun here. And then we're going to replace the shaft with our cursed ejection rod which has the shaft built into it and a nice feature on this ejector rod other than being spring loaded that you can actually turn the thumb piece in so if you're carrying this in the holster it doesn't get in the way so all this is is a drop in piece and we're going to put the loading lever back on because it actually retains uh, your shaft there, right there. They have an aftermarket piece you can buy to replace this, but I kind of like the way this uh, looks. It makes it look, look like a Remington with this little sail on there. And uh, if you swap it back out to uh, cap and ball, then you've got your. Uh, loading lever already on there and that just installs uh, just install this one screw and you're back in business see the safety notch right there just always set your hammer down on that safety notch this is our completed project and this is an original 1869 46 caliber five shot Remington factory conversion so you can see we're not too far off the mark with our replica Let's brave the elements and strap this thing on for a little live fire test. By the end of the Civil War, it was clear 
that the cartridge revolver was the way forward. But there was a problem. Smith and Wesson held the rights to the Rollin White patent for the bored through cylinder. In 1868, Remington negotiated a deal to pay Smith and Wesson a royalty of one dollar for every conversion revolver they produced. Cursed converters are machined from heat treated 4140 steel and are rated for black powder or smokeless lead bullet loads under 1000 feet per second. The bore on these 44 percussion revolvers is usually around 0.451. I've found that the 45 Schofield round with the 200 grain 452 bullet performed the best with both smokeless and black powder. 